Game starts at 20, best slip is empty. I gotta call KG. KG, what I up? I got nothing for you, Fox. Ah, come on. Jalen, you wanna tell? Yeah. Don't call somebody on live TV. Well, like you I answered. I have other friends anyway. Marshawn, Barry. Listen, I need some tips. I'm like LA. LA? No, no, Dallas. That's Dallas? Not, no, no, Dallas. Dallas? Not Dallas? How about Detroit? Barry, I'm calling you right now. Vanessa. I got a tip for you. Always go with your gun. I like that. Let's go with our gun. Hey, this is Dave Weishaddle from House of Cards with your House of Cards gaming report for the week of July 10th, 2023. The 11th bid has come in for one of the New York City area casino licenses. Commercial real estate developer Silverstein Properties in partnership with Greenwood Gaming announced plans for a mixed-use development with a 600,000-square-foot casino and a 1,000-room hotel. The site used to be a Mercedes-Benz dealership and sits adjacent to the Javits Convention Center. The property will also feature 12 restaurants, an art gallery, and a performance venue iGaming and online poker is officially legal in Rhode Island. Governor Daniel McKee signed bills into law which would give the Ocean State online casinos as well as online poker sites. The bills will give iGaming control to Bally's Corporation, which runs two casinos in the state, Twin River Lincoln Casino and Resort and Tiverton Casino and Hotel. The proposed start date for online gambling in Rhode Island is March of 2024. And finally, Las Vegas-based company Las Vegas Spaceport was granted permission to sell stock in order to raise money for its planned spaceport, where they will launch manned space flights to a space hotel. The site will be located outside of Pahrump, Nevada, and since this is Nevada, they also plan on building a casino hotel at the site as well. Have any news or tips regarding casinos, gaming, or legislation? Send us an email at newsroom at houseofcardsradio.com and follow us on Twitter at HOC Radio.